Given their slithery, slippery nature and tendency to come packing venom, lots of people are phobic of snake and if we may say, quite rightly so, there are some that are so deadly, they're lethal. These are terrifying snakes that will probably kill you. Number 15. Terciopelo the Terciopelo is one of the most underrated snakes anywhere in the world. And by underrated, I obviously mean, why the hell don't more people know to be terrified of this thing? Actually, by that logic, every animal that bites is underrated. The Terciopelo is also known by the slightly quirky name Fer de Lance, which translates to Iron Spear Point in English. This snake is considered one of the most dangerous venomous snakes anywhere in the world. Although that label has mostly been applied because it tends to live near human settlements in Central and South America. And if you live near human settlements, you're going to bump into some unsuspecting normie, right? There's just one problem. The terciopelo is an incredibly anxious animal. If it feels even the slightest bit of discomfort, its impulse is to lash out and strike out without much thought. It's near impossible to predict how this highly venomous snake will react to, well, anything. The terciopelo is a snake that tends to slip under the radar, with very few people ever talking about it. Actually, I imagine most of those that wanted to talk about it, well, maybe they got the snake just a little too nervous. Unfortunate. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Saw Scaled Viper if you had never heard of this snake before this video, don't worry about it. The saw-scaled viper is a venomous snake that's pretty unknown among non-experts, despite being part of the big four. That's the four species of snake that cause the most deaths annually. Yeah, this thing is basically a serial killer. Thankfully for most of us, the saw-scaled viper is native to parts of the Middle East and Central Asia. Unfortunately, those who don't live in those areas have many other venomous snakes to take its place. So maybe we should all, uh, check ourselves. This snake poses a problem to medical experts, as every individual specimen seems to have a different amount of venom and can inject varying amounts into their victims. This complicated venom issue has forced many medical experts to develop no less than nine antivenoms to target the toxins. It's better to be safe than dead, I suppose. The toxin itself can cause complications ranging from swelling, to hemorrhage, to internal bleeding, and kidney failure. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this snake is incredibly prolific in what it does. It'll kill you, but you have to admire the work ethic. Number 13. King Cobra all hail the king! Like any member of royalty, we should treat the king cobra with suspicion, respect, and genuine unrestrained fear. This snake is one of the most poisonous anywhere on the planet, and it's also one of the most terrifying. There's really no getting away from this guy. Unlike most snakes, the king cobra is capable of standing up and looking a grown human adult right in the eye. Obviously, it doesn't sprout a pair of legs and start walking or anything. Scientists are still working on that technology, but if confronted, the cobra can lift over a third of its body off the ground. And at up to 18 feet long, that's a big body. That's some Jurassic Park business, actually. Their venom, meanwhile, isn't particularly potent, but with a single bite, they can deliver enough poison to kill 20 people or even an elephant, and their venom goes a step beyond affecting the blood or cardiovascular system. It attacks the brain's respiratory centers, a brutal way to die. Thankfully, the king cobra doesn't really go out looking for humans to kill and maim. This snake is extremely shy and would rather avoid hanging out with humans. I mean, wouldn't we all? But if confronted, it will give you a hiss as a warning. If you dismiss that warning, you may have it coming. Number 12. Tiger Snake 
While it would be amazing to discover a snake that had somehow crossed with a tiger, that's not what this is. I should know I checked with six different search engines to be absolutely sure. As it turns out, the tiger snake is a venomous and dangerous snake with a similar pattern to a tiger. Disappointing. The tiger snake is native to Australia, as many killer animals are, and they're famous for having an extremely potent venom. This poison is basically a cocktail of things you don't want your body, from neurotoxins to homolysins and other chemical words I had to Google. Once bitten, your body will experience numbness, tingling, sweating, and more concerning symptoms like breathing difficulties and paralysis. Not a fun time. There's a reason these things are considered one of the most dangerous snakes in Australia. At one time, the tiger snake was the most fatal species in Australia, but thankfully science put an end to that one. Nowadays, there is enough antivenom to prevent sudden influx of fatalities at the fangs of the tiger snake. It's just every other species you have to worry about now. Number 11. Inland Taipan if I asked you to name the most venomous snake on the planet, would you have said the inland taipan? Probably not. You likely would have said the anaconda or the black mamba or the snake from the, um, jungle book. Whatever you may have said, the inland taipan is widely recognized as the most venomous snake on the planet. And yeah, it's terrifying. In a single bite, the inland taipan delivers an amount of venom that could kill 100 adult men or 250,000 mice. Just let that sink in. Actually, don't. That's the problem. Get medical help, don't let it sink in, whatever you do. The inland taipan is the worst nightmare for anybody afraid of snakes. It's native to areas of central and east Australia and is surprisingly hard to find. The species was first discovered at the end of the 19th century, but couldn't be examined until its next appearance some 90 years later. So, kind of a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek going on there. The inland taipan is a species of snake you never want to encounter. While it tends not to be aggressive by nature, I think we can gather that it doesn't like surprises. So strap some bells and an air horn on you, and you'll always be prepared. Number 10. Belcher Sea Snake The Belcher Sea Snake sounds like a pretty quirky snake, but don't let that fool you. This thing is one of the deadliest snakes you could find anywhere in the world. Even one drop of its venom could mean lights out in just moments. The Belcher sea snake is unsurprisingly an underwater snake. Because it doesn't have gills, the snake has to surface for air occasionally, though it prefers to spend most of its time lurking under the surface. Mesmerized by its swimming. In that case, it's pretty harmless to humans, right? I mean, who's going to be swimming with snakes? Well, you'd be wrong. The Belcher sea snake has venom so toxic that one bite could kill a human in less than 30 minutes. Studies have shown that the venom in a Belcher sea snake could be over a hundred times more toxic than the inland taipan, commonly known as the most venomous snake on the planet. A single drop of the Belcher sea snake contains such high levels of neurotoxins and myotoxins that it could kill up to 1,800 people. So another reason to stay away from the water then. Number 9. Black Mamba even the most casual snake follower has come to be familiar with the black mamba. This snake has developed a reputation as one of the world's deadliest snakes, as well as being the fastest land snake anywhere on the planet. In summary, yikes. Experts agree that the black mamba more than earns its reputation, given their extremely toxic venom and aggressive delivery tactics. If they feel threatened in any way, their natural response is to strike repeatedly, delivering a massive amount of venom with every single strike. It's part of the struggle. That bite of yours is awful. The deadliest of kinds. This venom can be fatal, and while antivenom exists for these toxins, it's not widely available in the snake's natural habitat. So if you happen to get attacked by one of these snakes in Africa, you better hope that your last will and testament has been drafted and finalized. Because, well, you ain't coming home. Over 20,000 people die from snake bites in Africa every single year. It's fair to assume that a good chunk of those fatalities originate with the black mamba. These animals are easily one of the top predators of their native home. It's a no from me, thank you. Number 8. Eastern Brown Snake 
often in the animal kingdom. It seems there's an ongoing contest for who can be the most intimidating and fearsome animal. And, in the snake world, that contest is pretty close. While the inland Taipan takes the crown for the world's most venomous snake, the eastern brown snake comes in at a respectable number two. And by respectable, I obviously mean terrifying. The eastern brown snake is an agile snake usually found in Australia. Unlike many snakes, the eastern brown's home tends to include some highly populated parts of the country, putting it into contact with humans pretty regularly. They're a pretty pissed off snake even when they're in a happy mood. If you see an eastern brown, the best thing you can do is what I'm about to do now. I think you know where I'm going with this. While the eastern brown snake has smaller fangs than some other snakes, the relatively tiny amount of venom they exude is still more than enough to kill a human being. Once the venom is injected into the bloodstream, the victim will encounter symptoms ranging from convulsions to dizziness, cardiac arrest, and if not appropriately treated, death. Thankfully, modern Australian medicine has found anti-venom and effective treatments for eastern brown bites. However, there's no denying that the eastern brown is responsible for most deaths by snake bites in Australia. Crikey, mate! Number 7. Bushmaster Next up on our tour of snakes, I'd rather not know about the Bushmaster. The Bushmaster is an unimaginably colossal beast, often measuring longer than six and a half feet. However, some specimens have been found to measure over 12 feet in length, making this a snake hater's worst nightmare. The Bushmaster is considered to be the world's second longest venomous snake, after the King Cobra. Like other vipers, their venom is a pretty brutal cocktail of toxic chemicals that are designed to stun and paralyze their prey. For humans, however, the venom goes much faster than simple paralysis. When injected into the human blood flow, the toxins begin destroying the red blood cells, causing severe organ degeneration and inflicting brutal tissue damage on the body. If it's not immediately treated, the bite can lead to death. Because that wolf shall feel a lot better once the skin's off. And since this snake has a mortality rate of around 80%, you can bet it's the deadliest in all the Americas. I don't think we have to say too much more about the Bushmaster. This thing is an absolute monster of the natural world, and is definitely a snake to be afraid of. With a mortality rate of 80%, an encounter with this will probably not end happily ever after. For you anyway, the snake will probably be pretty happy. Number 6. Indian Cobra Think about this. At some point, India became so aware of the snakes inflicting harm on their people that they had to highlight the big four dangerous snakes. I mean, that's the Indian animal equivalent of the FBI's most wanted list. Beware! The Indian cobra is a celebrated and revered figure in Indian culture, often seen with snake charmers. When you hear just how dangerous they are, you may develop a newfound respect for said charmers. These cobras have a venom that targets the synaptic gaps of the nerve system, effectively paralyzing their victim's muscles and often causing respiratory failure or cardiac arrest. The venom also has enzymes that increase its own spread, which makes this a kind of self-promoting poison. All things considered, is it really a surprise that this is one of the four snakes that caused the most human deaths in Asia? In summary, the Indian cobra is one of the most dangerous snakes you could encounter on the Asian continent. Although, let's be honest, pretty much any snake you encounter on the Asian continent is one of the most dangerous you could encounter. In fact, snakes anywhere just yikes. Number 5. Rattlesnake of all the snakes in the world, a rattlesnake bite is probably among the more common injuries. I mean, there are websites dedicated to it on reliable medical boards and everything. Just to confuse you, here is the medical conclusion. A rattlesnake bite is not fatal, but it also can be. So, no confusion there, right? You know, none whatsoever. With over 30 species all over the world, Rattlesnakes are easily identifiable by that distinctive kind of death rattle. But as for their venom, it's considered dangerous but very rarely fatal. Still, if the bite is left untreated or without medical attention, it can cause serious problems and could even kill you. The rattlesnake venom destroys skin tissue and blood cells, causing the victim to begin internally hemorrhaging. I think that's pretty clear why medical attention is so important with 
this snake, right? I mean, it maybe takes precedent over slamming your finger in the car door. The rattlesnake is one of the more common dangerous snakes in the world. But if you get bit, it's probably your own fault. That distinctive rattle we talked about is there for a reason. It's a warning for you to get the hell away. Heed the advice, kids. Trap your finger in a car door instead. Number four, Gaboon Viper. In all of the wildlife across Africa, Gaboon Vipers are the largest vipers you will find. They're also unusually placid and hesitant to bite anything more substantial than a mid-sized mammal. So in summary, these are a most unusual snake. The Gaboon Viper generally measures over 6 feet in length and weighs over 45 pounds, but their diet is primarily composed of small and medium-sized mammals or birds. They're also much more passive than most snakes, preferring to wait for some creature to pass before it strikes. For that reason, they're not much of a threat to humans in their own right. Unless, of course, a human accidentally steps on a gaboon. Most gaboon bites come about because of this, which explains why instances of gaboon viper bites are so rare in humans. However, when they do bite, it can be rough. The gaboon can control its venom, whether or not to inject it, and how much to do so. A bite from a gaboon viper can be harmless, with absolutely no effect whatsoever. Or it could be instant death. It really comes down to just how badly you've ticked off this snake. Either way, it's not an experience anybody wants. Number 3. Russell's Viper I've seen enough movies to know that if the hunter spends his life targeting one specific animal, that animal will eventually flip the tables and start hunting the hunter. The venomous Russell's Viper has become a key target of hunters looking to take its skin and meat, which means it's only a matter of time before this snake has had enough. The Russell's Viper generally measures between 3.3 and 5.5 feet in length, and is usually a slow, sluggish-moving land snake that prefers to come out at night. Like many snakes, its diet is most focused on rodents and small mammals, though it occasionally branches out to things like birds or frogs. I mean, we all need a little variety, right? Unfortunately for us, Russell's Viper prefers to hang around urban and rural areas because they offer more rodents. As a result, many people have been bitten by this snake and suffered brutal side effects. The venom side effects include everything from paralysis of the neck to bleeding to death. Although I don't think that's a surprise to anybody watching this video, I doubt anybody was thinking of wearing it as a perfume. I hope not anyway. It probably stinks. Number 2. Boomslang is that not just the greatest name for a snake you've ever heard of in your life? The boom slang is a small venomous snake native to Africa. And if you're wondering what the name actually means, let me put you out of your misery. It's Afrikaans for tree snake. I know, boom slang just sounds cooler. The boom slang measures on average between 3 and 5 feet in length. And like most snakes, its diet is focused on small animals and eggs. While they're not necessarily dangerous to humans in their own right, this doesn't mean we're off the hook. If threatened, the boom slang is not afraid to lash out and inject their victim with a deadly dose of their brand venom. These snakes are so generous with their free samples, don't you think? The side effect of the boom slang's venom can range from a harmless headache and nausea to severe blood clots, which often result in death. And to think we were charmed by a cool name. The boom slang may be small, but it's incredibly deadly. To make things worse, it has terrific eyesight that allows it to see even a motionless, disguised chameleon. So even if you wanted to get away, think again, hotshot. Mama's coming to bite you right on your boom slang. I don't know what that means, I kinda lost track of myself there. Number 1. Death Adder Whatever you believe is the most terrifying snake in the world, you may be wrong. The Death Adder is one of the most nightmare-inducing snakes you'll ever hear about, and for one reason above all else. 
you may never see it. The death adder is a native snake to Australia and New Guinea. But that's not what you should be afraid of. This short, somewhat stocky snake is what many animal experts describe as an ambush predator. Which is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll explain it anyway. It waits for and ambushes its prey. Well, that was worth an extra sentence, don't you think? Anyway, the death adder is known for its strike, one of the fastest in the animal kingdom. So fast, in fact, that the human eye cannot follow it. Yeah, you heard me. A human could get bitten by this snake and, theoretically, they wouldn't know about it. Until, of course, the venom started coursing through their veins. The venom, of course, is highly toxic. In a single strike, the death adder delivers around 180 milligrams of venom, more than enough to kill several men. Slowly, the venom shuts down the respiratory system until, well, they don't call it the death adder for nothing. I don't think I have to explain that one. Which of these snakes do you think is the most terrifying? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!